above the crown. Exhale the hands back to your heart. Take a deep inhalation. Bring the arms alongside the ears. Thank you today from beautiful, sunny Sanur, Bali. This posture, this back bend is to come to child's pose, knees together, big toes touching, stretching the arms out in front. Sit bones back towards the heels. So that was Cobra Pose. Uh, and I look forward to bringing many more yoga posture breakdowns. My name is Jessica Dinan and welcome to Yoga Blossom. Today we're shooting at Yoga Alliance of Red Deer here in downtown Red Deer, Alberta. Um, today we, I'd like to focus on the upper body. Uh, so, but our, of course the, the golden rule of yoga always applies every time you come to uh, your yoga practice, always remembering that yoga should never be painful. So um, if throughout the course of today's practice you feel any sharpness, uh, any pain anywhere in the body or you find you're, you're not able to breathe easily um, because of, a, of discomfort, then that's your body's way of saying that maybe that pose isn't right for you for today. And that's okay, don't force it. Um, eat gently and carefully, ease your way out of whatever posture you're in at the time and just focus on your breath until we move on to the next one. It's okay to skip out. Um, all right, so I'd like to invite everyone to uh, just come to sitting up nice and tall in their chair. Make sure you're sitting in a chair that isn't on wheels, it's not a rocking chair, it's a nice sturdy chair with four legs. Um, and just come to sit with your a bit of space between your back and the seat back. Um, sitting up nice and tall, just softly closing down the eyes and just tuning into your breath, maybe placing one hand over your heart and feeling and acknowledging your heartbeat, noticing the rhythm, the beat, And then when you're ready to, just softly blinking back open your eyes, releasing your hand back down. Um, we're gonna start with a little bit of breath work. Um, the breathe, Breathing is such an important part of yoga. And you'll notice as we move through our practice today that each posture is linked with either an inhalation or an exhalation, sometimes both. Um, but I always like to open with a little bit of breathing. So what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna place one hand uh, just below our belly button or kind of over top of our belly button over our lower belly, our lower abdomen. And still sitting up nice and straight and tall, we're gonna inhale through our nose if you're able to, if you need to breathe in through your mouth for whatever reason, that's all right as well. Um, breathing in, taking a deep breath in, try to draw that breath all the way down um, to your, where your hand is resting over your, your belly button, over your lower abdomen. So taking a nice deep breath in, maybe you feel your belly kind of puff out and you feel your hand kind of puffing out with that belly and then exhaling. We'll do two more breaths like this, deep inhalation, sending it all the way down to the belly and exhaling. And one more breath. And exhaling. Very good. Um, so it may take you a little bit of practice with this breathing technique to be able to really feel like you're able to direct your breath to different parts um, of your torso. So if you didn't really feel like you had a good handle on that, don't worry. Feel free to take a few extra breaths there if you want to, or maybe practice this one after we, um, we bring our practice to a close for the day. You can rewind and try again. Um, now we're gonna take both hands, one on either side of our rib cage. And again, we're gonna draw our breath down into that middle rib area and see if as we breathe in, we can get those ribs to expand. So take a deep breath in and see if you can get your ribs to expand, see if you can get them to press up against those hands. And then exhale, deep breath in and exhale. One more breath and exhale. Very good. Uh, and then we're gonna take the opposite hand as the one that we had over our belly and just place it over our heart again, over our upper chest. 
And we're going to, for the last stage of this breathing technique, this full uh, belly breath, we're going to breathe into the heart space, into the upper chest. So as you breathe in, try to direct your breath right here and maybe you'll feel your collarbones lift, you'll feel your chest lift, and you'll feel that hand lift as well. And then exhale, and breathe in, and exhale. One more time, and exhale. Very good, you can keep that hand where it is and replace the other one over your, your belly button or your low abdomen. Now we're gonna to try to put all three steps of this breath together. So um, you can try to first draw your breath down into your, your belly button area and then let it spread upwards or you can just try to take the, the biggest breath you can and try to fill up as much space as you're able to. That's fine too if, if um, trying to do the compartmentalized breath is a little too complex. That's all right. Just taking a nice deep breath in, trying to fill as much space as you are able. And then exhaling. And we'll do two more like this. Deep breath in. And exhaling. Last time. And exhaling. Very good. And then just softly releasing your hands back to a comfortable resting place. So hopefully you're already feeling a little bit more open in the lungs. Hopefully you're already feeling like you're breathing a little more deeply than you were perhaps when you sat down in your chair today. Um, or maybe your breath has slowed a little bit more or you're feeling a little bit more calm. Um, and don't worry if, if you, you struggled a little bit with that breathing technique. It takes practice. Um, as I said, you can always rewind after we've completed our practice for today and try a few more breaths like that. Uh, so moving on to the more physical aspect of our practice for the day, we're going to um, start using our fingertips. Just We're going to place them up at the top of our hairline and just begin to give ourselves a nice little facial massage. Working around the forehead to the temples and then down around the the cheekbones around the eyes and don't worry if you feel like you might look a little silly that's okay you're looking at me looking silly it's all good <laughs> and don't neglect the space just between your upper lip and your nose it doesn't get a lot of attention try to give it a little love it might be a little ticklish if you have a mustache though <laughs> and your chin working down around your jawline to very good. And then once that's feeling complete, just softly releasing your hands and maybe just observing how your facial muscles feel now. Mine are a bit tingly after having done the, the facial massage. It's a beautiful way to start the day, but also to end the day, especially if you tend to hold a lot of your tension and your stress in your facial muscles. If you're furrowing your brow a lot, if you're clenching your jaws together, your face might feel quite, a, quite tired by the end of the day, quite fatigued. So it can be a really nice way to finish your day also. All right, so from here, we're going to just open our neck muscles a little bit. So we're gonna take our, uh, our, the middle finger of our right hand and we're gonna just place it um, kind of in the center of our left ear. So the arm is kind of wrapping around the head. And then we're gonna take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're just gonna use the weight of our arm just to gently guide our right ear towards our right shoulder. So we're not pulling on the head, we're just gently using that arm as a bit of extra weight to just get that nice opening through our, uh, the, the left side of our neck. And then inhale to come up, softly releasing that arm down. And now we'll take the middle finger of our left hand and just place it to the center line of our right ear. Um, just again, wrapping our arm around our head and inhaling fully. And as we exhale, just again, using the weight of our arm to gently guide that left ear towards the left shoulder, getting that nice neck stretch on the right side. Notice if it maybe feels different on this side, maybe it feels more intense, the stretch, or perhaps less so. And just building that body awareness. Yoga is so good for building body awareness. Inhaling to come up, softly releasing that arm down. 
And then from here, just placing the hands back to your lap, we're just gonna inhale, shrug our shoulders up towards our ears. Exhale, roll them down and back. Inhale, shrug. Exhale, roll them down and back. Inhale, shrug. Exhale, roll them down and back. We'll do that one more time, just for good measure. Inhale, shrug, and exhale down and back. Perfect. So hopefully your shoulders are feeling a little warmer now. Uh, we're gonna take the pointer finger uh, and the thumb of our right hand and just gently touch them together. Do a little work with dexterity here. And then we're gonna touch the middle finger and thumb, the left finger, or not the left finger, <laughs> the ring finger and thumb, the pinky finger and thumb, and then work our way back. And then see if you can go a little faster maybe without skipping a finger. <laughs> Sometimes we, I miss one if I'm trying to go too quickly. And then we'll softly release that hand, do the same thing. So point your finger and thumb of the left hand, and then middle finger and thumb, ring finger and thumb, and pinky finger and thumb. And then work your way back. And then see, oh, see I already skipped one. See if you can go a little faster. I'm better at this with my right hand than my left because I'm right-handed. And you might find the same thing. All right, and then just shaking those hands out. And then we're going to take the right arm and stretch it out in front of us. We'll point the fingers down and then just take the left hand and just softly guide those fingers back towards the wrist. So we're not pulling, we're not putting a lot of pressure. We're just trying to open up through the top of our wrist here. And then we'll do the same thing, but pointing the fingers up. And again, using that other hand to just guide those, that, those fingers and that hand back towards your face. Again, opening now through the, the underside of the wrist. Very good. Then maybe make some circles in either direction. My circles work better going one way than the other. Maybe you'll find the same. And then relaxing that hand. We do the same thing, left hand, bringing it up about shoulder height, pointing the fingertips down to start using the right hand to just softly put a little tension into that wrist. So you're feeling some opening across the top there. Don't tug. Again, remember to be gentle. We're not looking to hurt ourselves. And then pointing your fingertips up and again, giving that little bit of tension. So we're opening through the bottom of the wrist. And then softly releasing that, making some circles. Notice if your circles or maybe a little wonky on your non-dominant side. This is my non-dominant side, so my circles look more like ovals, and that's okay. <laughs> maybe your circles will look more like ovals on one side too. And shake that out. And then from here, we're gonna inhale, and we're gonna raise both arms alongside our ears. As we do so, spread your fingers wide, so you're engaging your hands, and notice if you're your shoulders are kind of hunched up around your ears and see if you can, um, you can slide them back down the back. So our, you'll notice my arms are quite, wide, quite far away from my head. They don't have to be hunched right in here. You can take a bit of a wider stance. We're just activating the arm muscles, warming up our arms here. And one more breath. And then exhale to softly release those hands back down. Notice how your arms are feeling. Maybe you're, they're feeling a bit warmer, a bit more activated. Uh, and then from here, we're just going to inhale the right arm up alongside the ear. But again, keeping that shoulder nice and soft, tucked down away from your ear. And then on our exhalation, we're going to turn our head to the left. So we're turning our head away from our arm. Holding here for a breath. Nice neck stretch. And then inhale the head back to center. Exhale to release the arm. Next inhalation takes the left arm up. And as we exhale, we turn the head away from the arm towards the right. So maybe you're looking out over your right shoulder. Holding here for a breath. And then exhaling your head back to center releasing the arm perfect and then from here we're going to wrap our arms around ourselves like we're giving ourselves kind of a little bit of a hug um, just 
doesn't matter which arm you have on the top of your hug, um, just making sure you're paying attention to which one it is. So I've got the right arm on top first, um, but it's okay if you have the left because we're gonna do both sides. Just making sure you know which one it is. And then from here, on your exhalation, we're gonna dip our chin towards our chest. So taking a deep inhale and then exhale and holding here for a couple breaths. And then inhale the head back up to center. We'll stretch the arms out, maybe do a little eagle arms um, or Egyptian arms as I like to sometimes call this, rotating one arm and then the other. And then bringing the opposite arm on top. So for me, that's the left arm will be on top now, wrapping my arms around myself, giving myself a nice hug. And on your exhalation, you're just gonna softly dip the chin towards the chest. And hold for a couple breaths. And then inhale the head back up to center, stretch those arms out, do a few little Egyptian arms. And then when you're ready to, we're gonna bring our hands um, back to our lap. What we're gonna do from here is we're gonna do some gentle cat-cow stretches. So um, feet are planted about hip distance apart on the floor. The hands are just resting palm down on your lap. We're going to inhale and as we do so, we're leaning forward. We're pointing our, our heart and our chin forward and we're sliding our elbows back. So they're hugging in towards either side of the ribs. So we're getting a little bit of a C shape in our spine. And then as we exhale, we're gonna round the back and tuck the chin towards our chest. Inhale to come forward, to hug those elbows in towards the ribs, point the heart forward, point the chin forward. Exhale to round. One more time, inhale to your cow stretch and exhale to your cat. And then just inhaling back up to neutral. On our next exhalation, we're gonna run our hands down our legs and come into a forward fold. Maybe your hands come right down to the floor. Maybe they rest on the tops of your feet. Maybe they wrap around your ankles. But just let your head and neck be soft here. And hold here for a couple of breaths. And then inhaling to run those hands back up the legs. Uh, from here, we'll walk our feet a little wider apart. We're gonna come into that forward fold again, but we're going to do incorporate a little bit of a twist into it. So we're going to inhale, sit up nice and tall. On our exhalation, we fold forward, bringing our hands down to the floor. And then we're gonna plant our, um, our right hand underneath our face, and we're gonna inhale and stretch our left arm up. So this is where the twist comes in. Hold here for a breath. And maybe, you, maybe you're on your knuckles, maybe your fingertips are just barely touching the floor. You can't get all the way down to the ground, that's okay. Exhale that lifted hand down and inhale your right arm up. Coming into the twist on the opposite side. Hold for a breath. And then exhale to release. Inhale to lift up. And then you can walk your feet back together. Uh, from here, I'm just gonna turn to the side so uh, you can see a little bit better. We're gonna do some work behind our back. Um, so I'm just shifting to the side of my chair. You can stay as you are, but maybe just scoot yourself a little further forward in your seat so um, you're not gonna be smacking your hands off the back of your chair. Uh, and then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our arms behind us and we're going to um, just clasp forearms, opposite forearms with the hands. So that's one variation, one option. Um, if, if that's feeling maybe like not enough stretch, you're not really feeling anything, um, you could bring your, your fists together, kind of fist bump yourself behind your back. Um, or if you're still not really feeling anything and you wanna opt for a little more intensity, Maybe try bringing your hands into reverse prayer behind your back. 
So the palms are pressed together behind you. Fingertips pointed up. So there's a few options. Choose the option that works best for you and hold for a couple of breaths. And then when you're ready to, take your time and be gentle to release out of that. And then maybe just shake out the hands a little bit before we move on to the next one. The next one, I'm gonna stay where I am because uh, again, it, we're working with the arms kind of behind our back. So we're gonna take our right arm and we're gonna stretch it up towards the ceiling alongside our ear. We're gonna take our left arm behind us with the back of our hand kind of pressed in between our shoulder blades or as close to it as we can get it. And you can kind of use your other arm to kind of help wedge your, your arm behind you. Um, it does feel a little pretzely, a little awkward the first time you try this pose. This is called cow face arms. I'm not sure why. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna take that lifted arm and we're gonna reach down and try to clasp hands. If you can't clasp hands, you could use a tie or um, a, a, the, the tie from your bathrobe as a strap, or you can even just hold on to your shirt with your hands if you can't quite reach. And you may find that you're able to reach more easily on one side than the other. So I find I am able to reach more easily on this side with my right arm um, being on top. So let's see how we do with the other side. So very gently and slowly unraveling that, maybe give the arms a little shake out, roll the shoulders a few times in either direction. And then this time the left arm comes alongside the ear the right arm is gonna stretch around behind us, pressing the back of the hand in between the shoulder blades, and then see if you can reach down. So this side, I can like barely touch fingers. Maybe you're holding onto your strap, maybe you're holding onto your shirt on both sides, or maybe one side, not the other. That's okay too. And just hold here for a breath or two. And try to keep that top arm from pressing your head forward. You wanna keep the crown of your head pointed upwards. And then when you're ready to release that, again, be careful, be gentle, take your time. Maybe roll the shoulders a little bit just to release. And then I'm just gonna shift back to center on my chair here. Uh, I have one more pose for you, and it's just gonna be a simple seated twist. Um, so we're just going to take our right hand across the body to the outside edge of the left knee. We're gonna take our left hand to the back of our seat. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And as we exhale, we're gonna to twist towards the left. And maybe hold here for a breath. And then on your inhalation, gently coming back to center, we're going to take our left hand across the body to the outside edge of the right knee, take the right hand to the back of your seat, inhale to sit up tall, and then as we exhale, we twist towards the right. And hold here for a breath. And then inhaling to release that, to come back to center. And now comes my favorite part of any yoga practice, and that is relaxation. So um, you're welcome to stay in your chair if that's where you feel most comfortable, perhaps leaning back, stretching your legs out a little bit. You can cover yourself up with a little blanket um, or maybe add an extra layer of clothing, put some socks on so in case you have cold feet. Um, or if you prefer to come into this posture lying down, you could lie down on your sofa, on your bed, on the floor. Um, traditionally, we lie flat on our backs for relaxation, but if you have low back pain, if that's a challenge for you to lie flat, you could lie on one side or on the other side. Um, maybe use a pillow underneath your head. Um, but where, once you've decided how you want to uh, set yourself up for relaxation pose, just softly closing down the eyes. Let your facial muscles soften. Let your jaws soften. And just once more, bring your awareness onto your breath. Feel the rise and fall of your belly with each inhalation, each exhalation. Maybe mute the, the TV and just stay here for as long as you'd like to. Um, every pose that we have taken up until now in our practice today has to, been to prepare you for this point, for this, this rest and relaxation pose. So take your time here, enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope that we can practice again together soon. Namaste.
above the crown. Exhale the hands back to your heart. Take a deep inhalation. Bring the arms alongside the ears. Thank you today from.